Hi everyone, thank you for joining us on another video on how to use a typewriter. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you in detail how to use the iconic Hermes 3000 typewriter. This video applies to later models of the Hermes 3000 and the Hermes Media 3. For now, let's start with the demonstration. To remove the typewriter from its carrying case, we use the lever on the right side, we move it to the right side, and the typewriter itself will be released from its covering lid. To unlock the carriage, we use the lever on the right side under the right knob, we press it down and push the carriage from left to right. Now the carriage is released. To move the carriage, you can use the buttons on the left and right side. You press it and the carriage will move, and same applies to the left one. It will release the carriage if you keep pressing it. To select the amount of line spaces you need while typing, you use the line spacing selector. There's three options, one, one and a half, and two. Use the small lever on the left side to adjust it and move from one line spacing option to another. To release your platen, you can use the left side knob by pulling it out and it will release the platen. For line spacing, there's the long li uh, line spacing lever on the left side. You press it all the way pushing the carriage from left to right to get a new line. Again, this is a new line now. To set up the margins, there's a difference between the right and left side. To set up the left side margin, you press on the margin release button on the left side, and at the same time, you press on the lever on the left side and it will free the margin. And as you push the carriage from left to right, you will move the margin indicator to the position you need it. Same applies to the right side margin. To adjust the right side margin, you press on the button on the right side and press the lever on the right side and it will release the margin setup and you can see on the indicator that it is moving and you'll set it up to the position you need it as well. After setting up the margins, now we need to insert the paper. We use the lever on the right side, the paper release lever, and pull it towards us. We get a suitable paper. We insert it, then grip the paper release lever back Feed the paper, raise the paper bale, put the paper under the paper bale and feed it. To adjust the paper, you ungrip the paper lever on the right side, you ad adjust it to the position you need, and then you grip it back and move it down to the position you need to start typing on and also move the carriage to the right side to be able to start typing. Before that, you can get your paper support or paper hurdle on the back and now you can type. A quick tip on how to draw lines using your typewriter. You get a pencil or pen, you release the platen with the left knob, you pull it out, and you get the pen into the notch, and you then move the platen up for a vertical line, and to draw a horizontal line, you use the button on the left side to the carriage release button and you move your carriage and you can see a drawn line 
one vertical and one horizontal. To remove the paper, use the paper grip release lever on the right side and pull the paper out and return the paper support. To demonstrate how to reverse the ribbon on a Hermes 3000, we remove the lid to show it clearly. There's two levers, one on the left and one on the right. It's where the ribbon passes through. And these are the reverse ribbon levers that are responsible to move the mechanism from left to right or right to left. Simply, if it's not automatic, if you want to reverse the ribbon, you simply press on the lever from one side to another and it will reverse the mechanism. If you want to return it back, you again simply press it and it will go back to its original uh, direction. Kind reminder that you can download for free the PDF version of the manual from our website Mr. and Mrs. Vintage Typewriters.com. On the left side, there's a tension control lever, tension of the typing. So, if you want uh, soft and smooth typing, you use the lever and push it down in the original position. And if you want to increase the tension on the keys, you move it up. There's three other options than the original option. The more you increase the tension, the harder it will feel to press on the keys. On the right side, there's a color selector option. There's four options on the Hermes 3000. There's the blue, which is usually used all the time. And there's the, on the top, the stencils. This usually doesn't allow the vibrator to move while typing. The third option is colored yellow, but it's usually a mix between red and blue, red and black. And the final option is the red. This is the second rib uh, ribbon color you can use on dual typewriter ribbons. The Hermes 3000 have a tabulation option through this key on the left side. To set up your tab stops, you have two keys, the plus and the minus. The plus adds a tab set and the minus removes the tab set. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how I use the tab sets. This first tab set, I move the carriage a little, a second tab stop and a third tab stop. To use the tabulation, I press on the tabulation key, it will move to the first tab stop, now second tab stop, third tab stop, and now the end of the line. To clear all the tab stops in one press, I use the tab stops clear, clear uh, clearing key. I press it and all the tab stops are cleared. The margin release key on a Hermes 3000 is this key. It has two arrows in two different directions. To release your margin at the end of your, at the line, you know now it's the end of your line and you need to continue typing. You press on the key and it will move past the margin stop on the right side. Same applies to the left side margin stop. You press it and you can move your carriage past the left side margin stop. The key on the right side with a curved arrow is the backspace key. You use it to go back on the line to correct probably mistakes or just to, if you miss the space, you can go back using your backspace. Now we move to the keyboard section. Other than the keys, there's two main shift keys on the left and right side. The shift key, when pressed, it will move the typing to capital letters or caps. To continuously type using caps, you have a shift lock on the left side. You press it and you can continuously type in capital letters. 
to release the capital uh, shifting you press on the left side shift and it will release back to normal typing now as we finished all the options we need to lock the carriage to fit it back into its case to do that I always recommend moving the carriage slightly to the right side hold it from the left side and use the lever on the right side under the right knob press it down then using the button on the left side the carriage release button move it while pressing on the lever on the right side to the center and then leave the lever on the right side and now it's locked now we need to fit back the lid on the typewriter itself to do that we get the lid and make sure on the back it's all centered and well fitted and then using the lever on the front you move it to the right and push it a little bit down and now it's locked thank you for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button to get notified of all the future videos that we're going to be uploading and leave us in the comments below the typewriter models that you want us to demonstrate until then keep typing